Alright guys, I'm gonna go over a couple of the problems in each section to help you prepare for your tests on Thursday and uh, help you complete your review. Now, for this first section here, um, you need to know all these different, excuse me, sorry, all the different types, oh, it's not showing, of lines here. So you need to know what parallel lines are, parallel planes, perpendicular, and skew. Per parallel, most of y'all are familiar with that, they never intersect, they never cross. Same thing with planes. Perpendicular, they have to intersect at exactly 90 degrees. And skew means three things. They are not, sorry, they are not parallel. They do not intersect. And not on the same plane. So for this explanation, I'm pretty much going to stick to the odds um, to help you kind of navigate and understand what to do on the review and the different types of problems. So here you have to use the diagram to answer the question. So number one is referring to line DE, which is this horizontal line here, compared to line BE, which is here. And if you see right here, there is a box. So that means that these lines are perpendicular. They intersect at 90 degrees. So this is a symbol for perpendicular, okay, instead of writing out the word. Now on three, we're referring to or focusing on AB, which is this horizontal line here. And actually, I'm going to take off the other one so I don't confuse anybody. So I don't need that one or that one. So B, uh, A, B, excuse me, and E, F, okay? E, F, A, B is on the top plane here, and E, F is here on the bottom. And hopefully you see that these are not parallel, they do not intersect, and they're not on the same plane. One's on top or on the front face, or top face, and one's on the bottom. So this would be skew, okay? So you are going to have some questions on your test where you're just reading straight off of a, a diagram and filling it based on the type of lines you see. Now, this section, we need to know parallel lines cut by transversal, and you need to know all the different types of angles form. So you need to know what makes up alternate interior, alternate exterior, corresponding, same side interior. This is the same thing as consecutive interior. You want to think of it that way. Uh, and then same side exterior, that's consecutive exterior. You still need to know vertical, and you still need to know linear pair. So what they want you to recognize off of here is take the given information. So they're referring on number five, angle two, and angle eight. What I always tend to do is first find the transversal between the angles to see if they do have a transversal. And that is the shared line, which would be line H here. And then compare where they are. Are they on the same side or are they opposite sides? Now, this first one, they just want to know the line that's the transversal. That is the shared line. So here, we just put in H. If you want to put it here or here, it doesn't matter. But now, on number seven, since they want us to focus on angle... Um, angle ones, and they want them to be alternate x tier. Well, let me just take this off here. Angle one here is using that same transversal h. So for it to be alternate x tier, I have to be on opposite sides outside the other two lines. The other two lines would be p and k. So the answer here is that you could have an alternate x tier with h is a transversal with line, uh, with angle seven. So one of them would be seven. Now H could have also a transversal, I mean, angle one, sorry. Could also have a transverse. I could always use P also as a transversal. So if P is a transversal, now I can do um, an alternate X here. So opposite sides of this transversal and outside the other two lines, which is H and M, 
and I could do that with 15. So you are going to have to be able to read um, lines intersecting and then which angles would make the special types of pairs. Now for 9, it says if P is a transversal, so that means we're going to focus on just line P here. P is our transversal, and we're looking at angle 3. Here's angle 3. 3 and what other angle will be alternate interior angle. So it means it has to be in between the lines to be interior. So that would have to be 3 and 13. Alternating means they have to be on opposite sides of the transversal. So that's always a clue to help you see it. Now, the last one here, they want you to let H be the transversal. So I'm just kind of highlighting H as a transversal. And we're looking at angle 7. Angle 7, and we'll just do a double arc here. Angle 7, and what other angle is corresponding? So to be corresponding, you have to be in the same location. Okay? On the same side of the transversal, so this means below H here. I have to be below H here. Why is it doing that? Sorry. It's still doing it. Below H. Here we go. And on the same side. So... This is to the right of the line. 3 is the corresponding to 7. So this last one right here should have been 3. Okay. All right, so from there, we're now going to ask you to look at special properties with parallel lines. You can have transversals without the line.